Hi there. Sometimes we find ourselves wondering what is really happening inside that factory amplifier. Today, we will show what an RTA can do for determining crossover points in both aftermarket and factory systems. Using the Audio Control SA3055 RTA, we can pinpoint exactly where each speaker is crossed over. All you need is a speaker wire adapter with alligator clips on one end and an RCA connector on the other, and a CD of pink noise. The pink noise will give us equal energy across the audible frequency spectrum. That way, we don't have to worry about a heavy bass track skewing our test results. Now, connect a speaker wire to the RTA with our little adapter by clipping onto the positive-negative leads from the factory amp and connect that to the SA3055 RTA via our RCA connector. Turn the system on and play back the pink noise right off the bat we can see that this signal is a low pass. It starts to fall off at 90 hertz. You should label that speaker wire so you know what is what when you go back to install. After labeling, we move on to the next speaker wire in the system. We make our connection and play the pink noise again, and we find that this wire is a band pass. It looks like it plays from 90 hertz to about 3K. We will want to label that with the frequencies as well so we know what to do with it once we put our system together. Moving on to the next speaker wire, we find that this one is a high pass. It begins playing around 2.5K and all the way up to 20K. Don't forget to label. Also, a good thing to do for each time we test our speaker wires is to confirm that it's a left or right signal. You can do this by adjusting the balance on the head unit after you have tested out the channel's frequency. Include this in your labels as well. It's good info to have. Now that we have discovered the factory amp is cutting up those signals, you may wonder what comes next. In our next video, summing in the LC8i, you can see how we bring these channels back together to get a full range signal.